Hey guys, my name is Moon, and welcome back for more Omineko When They Cry. So last episode, the servants, uh, were, I guess we're talking about uh, Beatrice, right, with Butler. And they were saying that, yeah, she is real. And also Maria, she also was there. And she was her other personality, yet again, right? And then afterwards, Butler, George, and Jessica were talking about maria on her having probably like a second personality something like that right so we will continue and let's see what happens today so for the time being i put aside whether a 19th person existed and announce our theory that the goal of the culprit might have been to make us solve the riddle of the epitaph uncle hiyoshi seemed to be extremely interested but aunt nazi said it was ridiculous and dismissed it even though she was puffing up her cheeks in that cute way she'd been doing since yesterday, I couldn't think of it as cute. Yeah, after seeing Maria be the other Maria, right? Yeah, you look at her differently now. If I poke fun at her, it might suddenly transform into a creepy laugh. Yeah, see? That key 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 laugh, right? There is no hidden gold. Why are you lying? You actually saw it, right? And she saw it, Kraus showed her. Why is she still lying? I mean, I guess if she showed to, showed it to everyone, and then, yeah, everyone would uh, go into, like, a frenzy and try to actually find it now, right? しかし牛の宮家の主要な人物ばかりを最初に殺したのです。道理ですな。謎を解かせるなら金蔵さんに近しい人物を先に殺すことは得策ではないはずです。そうね。それにその論法で行くんだったら、最初にお父様を脅迫した方
じいさまに当てたメッセージってことじゃないのか I guess, yeah, just get the grandfather, right? In other words, these murders were a threat against a grandfather. If he didn't tell the culprit where the gold was, his family members would be killed off one by one. What if we weren't the only ones being forced to solve the riddle? What if grandfather was too? If you think about it that way, it explains grandfather's mysterious disappearance. If the culprit has already attacked grandfather, then judging by the state the six corpses were left in, he should have been left on display on somewhere with that horrible makeup added. But despite that, we still haven't found him. So does that mean that grandfather has been kidnapped and is being held somewhere? So <笑>面白い話じゃない。つまり、お父様はどこかに監禁されていて黄金のありかを離さないと次々に殺人を繰り返すぞと脅されているわけ。その話のどこが面白いのか、理解に苦しみます。Aunt Natsui glared at her, but Aunt Ava just smiled calmly. この時間になっても姿を現さない以上、おじいさまが事件に巻き込まれているのはほぼ間違いないと思います。それを思えばバトラ君の仮説も無視することはできないんじゃないですか。ジョージは黙ってなさい。そもそもお父様っていついなくな
扉があると仮定されたら、私の話はすべて水の泡。Aunt Ava didn't specify which person was about to be driven into a corner. But following the flow of the conversation, I had to feel that she was referring to Aunt Natsuhi. Kosa, no, no, Hana, she. Georgie was Koshi da Matena, sir. Do no, no, Genji, sir. Canon, sir. そうして熊沢さん隠し扉はあるのないの源氏さんはお父様が書斎を改造した時施工業者の監督をしていたはず知らないとは言わせないわよそのようなものは親が間違いなく私は believe that maybe there's something in the room right It's literally impossible. Like, there's nothing in the room. Katayoku no washi o yuru sareta kanon kun? Hai. Machigai naku. Oyakata sama no shosai ni kakushi tobera nado arimasen. Kumasawa san wa? I. I. Watashi mo kita koto ga arimasen yo. She's sweating a lot though, look at that. Oto sama to shinko no fukai nanjo sensei wa? わ私もそんなものは聞いたことがありませんな結構じゃあいい話を始めるわよ、okay. とってもシンプルな話なの Everyone tilted their head doubtfully wondering what Aunt Ava was starting to talk about so proudly Why is she gonna go there and then start、uh, investigating the room? Aunt Ava la laughed crime friendly as though she were about to reveal a secret only she knew. Oto Sama was a Simon in Mokuniki Stanoa. Natsuhine Sayone. Oh, now she's gonna blame Natsuhi for that. Kuashi Jikama was a chatakedo. Guess I know Kujima I could I know Koto that Omotawa. Nesan, Oboetir? What does she? あなたがお父様の書斎からちょうど出てくるところに出くわしたわよね。Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, she was right outside after we talked with Kinzo. ええ、覚えています。それが何だというのですかそして、次に姉さんがお父様の書斎を訪れたのは、兄さんたちの遺体が見つかってからよね。それを報告しに書斎に上がりそこで私と一緒に不在を確認したわところで姉さんその時お父様の書斎に入ろうとして気づいたことはなかったかしら気づいたこと何のことですかほーらーゴミを拾ったでしょう。畳んだレシート確かにそんなゴミを拾った気がしますそれが何かそのレシートは私が飛行場に着く前に寄った売店で飴玉を買った時にもらったものよ Aunt Ava pulled a small bag of candy out of her handbag ああでも母さんそのレシートの話が何と関係あるのジョージもうちょい黙って聞いとってや Yeah, shut up for a bit, George. Uncle Hideyoshi's expression was a little strict. Apparently he understood what Aunt Ava was getting at. 本当にこれは気まぐれよ。何かを予見してたとか。ましてや夏日姉さんを罠にかけようとかそんなのじゃ断じてないんだから実はねそのレシート姉さんがお父様と最後に会って出てきてそこで私と会ったでしょその時書斎の扉に私が挟み込んだものなのよってことはどういうことですかいや Why doesn't you just, you just say it, right? つまり夏日おばさんがそのレシートを拾うまで誰もドアを開けていない
The rain is getting intense outside. Wedging a receipt. Jessica hardly argued back. She still didn't really know what this all meant. But she realized that whatever it was, it would raise suspicion about her own mother. レシートが落ちるところを仮に見たとしても扉のどこの高さの部分に挟み込んであったかは正確には分かんないんじゃない私は夏日姉さんが鍵を取り出している間に確認したわレシートが挟み込まれた位置は寸分の1ミリの違い
れば結べるのかしらアンエヴァ、urge everyone to imagine it。Sure that receipt could be or become an important point, but I didn't know which other point to tie to or how. If you try searching for the answer Aunt Ava probably wants, you will find that Aunt Natsuhi lied and acted as though grandfather was in the room this morning. Has that fact been exposed by a whim of Aunt Ava's? お父様の材質を偽る価値が全くないとは限らないのよ推理小説でもたまーに出てくるでしょ Wait, didn't she even hear Kinzo there? I mean she was right outside, right? 生存時刻を偽ることによって自分のアリバイを偽証するトリックよな、なんだそりゃそんなの聞いたことないぜお父様はまだ見つからないけれど普通に考えればもう殺されていると考えるのが自然でしょうねとなれば必ず近いうちに死体は見つかるその時死亡時刻をうまく偽ることができれば夏日姉さんはアリバイを作ることができるのよわかるみんな This morning, when Aunt Natsu confirmed that grandfather was there, she lied. And he was already dead at the time. And then she moved the body to some other location and tampered with it so that when we find it, we'll think he was killed just a second ago. Didn't make it impossible for her to create an alibi even just by staying with the rest of us. Then she could say, I heard someone screaming. Dash over there and become the first to find a body along with everyone else. Is that what Aunt Ava is saying? But yeah, like, not so you doing that? Why though? Like, the only thing that happened at night, right, was Kraus showing not so you the gold bar, right? And then afterwards, she went to sleep, right? That was it. Does she have a motive there to kill everyone because of that? And yeah, and her killing like everyone, it doesn't fit the, uh, her personality, right? But then when you look at it, yeah, she's the only one who saw Kinzo, and then now she has a gun, right? Kinzo's gun as well, I think. If I'm correct, right? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what they say. しぼうじこくをすこしくらいごまかしたってそんなの警察が検視すりゃ一発でバレるじゃねえかよ古典の世界だったらともかく現代日本でそんなトリック本気で通用すると思ってんのかよおかしいぜそうかしら今朝南条
十分に通用するトリックなんや夏日姉さんわしらあんたを疑いたいわけやないんやで疑いとうないから潔白を示してほしいだけなんや何の潔白を示せというのですか今朝私は確かにお父様にお会いしましたそして心の中に片ゆくのわしを刻めとお言葉をいただいてあのお言葉をも否定するというのですかそれだけは断じて許せませんお父様がかけられた言葉までも否定することは断じて許せませんあるいはお父様の遺体は出てこないのかしら普通失踪は死亡宣告に7年かかるもの余命残りわずかなお父様を7年も延命しその財産を独占するにはなんともうまいやり方じゃない聞き捨てなりませんジーザで Here we go they're fighting now for real 私は後宮夏日この身に片翼のわしをまとう資格はなくとも胸の中にしかと刻まれています当主跡継ぎのクラウスの妻としてその責務を代行する私に向かって何たる暴言何その銃で私を撃つのいいわよ Dude, Ava is so cocky, man. She knows Natsu's not gonna shoot. Look at this art, man. The art is so cool. But yeah, didn't they show this art already back then? Or am I wrong? It wasn't like on Nazi had been actually holding that gun at the ready and threatening anyone, but as she was egged on by Aunt Ava, she did hold it at the ready. Unsurprisingly, once things got to the stage, Jessica and Genji tried to stop her. お父さんは部屋にいたと誓ってくれればいいんやでそれだけなのになんでそんなに取り乱しとるんやそれもそうですナスヒさんは嘘をついていないそれだけのことじゃありませんかだから説明してほしいのよお父様がどうやって部屋
その軽薄な口を慎めなさい私の推理はこうよ扉から姉さんしか出入りしていないことは私が2回確認しているそしてレシートもそれを立証しているにもかかわらずお父様を部屋から出すパズルの答えは窓よ窓から出したのよ Then why don't they check the window though? What is behind the window? I mean, is it like a very, very big drop or what? Like, can, can they not go there and check if there are any, like, uh, what do you call this? Like, if he was, he actually went out of the window, is what I'm saying, right? Or any clues, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like how they're fighting now. Yeah, this this rivalry between them. Oksama,こないでくださいえまさまどうかおやめくださいませその後中庭に転落して死んだお父様の遺体は夏日姉さんが屋敷内の戸締まりを確認すると言って出て行った時にどこかへ隠したのよ多分その時に死亡時刻を偽る工作もしたんでしょうねクラウス兄さんたちの事件もさらに昨夜のビアトリーチェの事件もひっくるめて那須さんが怪しい可能性が非常に高いということだ本当ならこんなことを言いたくは
一度目に書斎に訪れた夏日姉さんそして二度目に私と訪れるまでの間書斎は完全に密室で密室開封後には失踪しているこれで夏日姉さんが犯人じゃないと言うならどんなトリックがあるっていうのだから65点なんだよエヴァおばさんじゃあここでチェス盤をひっくり返すどうやって外部からじい様を失踪させるかじゃないどうやって内部からじい様が失踪するかって考えるんだ扉にはレシートが挟まれていたから使用されていない、okay. 窓も出ることはできても外側からは施錠できずしかもエヴァおばさんは書斎を訪れた時に窓の施錠を確認しているだから窓も使用されていないその時点では確かに書斎は密室だったこれは認めるしかないだがしかし書斎は永遠に密室だったわけじゃないレシートの封印さえ解かれれば扉は使用可能になり脱出可能になるつまり夏日おばさんがどうやってじい様を失踪させたかじゃないどうやってじい様は書斎を脱出したのかって考えるんだよじい様の書斎はただの書斎じゃねえんだよな源氏さんの話じゃトイレからキッチンベッドルームまであるちょいとした家並みじゃねえか Wait, they got a kitchen there? Jesus, okay. 例えばベッドの下にでも潜って隠れたらおばさんたちは部屋からいなくなったと思い込めるぜエヴァおばさんもそこまで調べてきたわけじゃねえだろそしておばさんたちは失踪したと思い開花へ戻るこの時レシートはもうないつまりじいさまは密室である間は部屋に隠れ続けエヴァおばさんたちをやり過ごした後に部屋から脱出することでこの密室を破ることができる<笑>何よそれどうしてお父様がそんな妙なことをして部屋を抜け出さなきゃならないの口頭無形にも程があるわよああ口頭無形かもなだがそれでも夏日おばさんが濡れ着ぬかもしれない可能性は示してるエヴァおばさんのレシートは完璧じゃねえチェスで言えばチェックくらいにはなったろだがチェックメイトじゃねえそして俺が最高に気に入らねえのはそれを夏日おばさんに釈明しろと迫ってそれができなきゃ黒だって断定しようとしたエヴァおばさんのその論法さ I mean, she's really. I mean, Eva, yeah. She doesn't like Natsuhi. That's why she's pressuring her like that. So, they got Makari told t h e n Koko de Moikai. Chesman will be pretty kind of s t e m o r a o j a n e k a We got another one. Another, uh, what do you call this? Art. Eva Obasa. Anta no Rompo ni Yoruna da yo. Anta to Hideo Shoji san da. 昨日親父たち6人を殺害してからのこのことゲストハウスに帰ったんじゃないってことを I know we're... このまで釈明してもらわなくちゃならねえぜ Now we're putting it back to her, right? 夏日おばさんに釈明を敷いたんだあんたにはもちろん自身の潔白を釈明できるんだろうなじいさまの遺産が全部転がり込むエヴァおばさんよそそうだぜエヴァおばさんだって十分怪しいじゃねえかよ Okay, what is George gonna say? Where's George? 母さんがじいさまの最終目撃者だから怪しいって言うならエヴァおばさんだって父さんたちの最終目撃者じゃないかバトラーの言う通りだぜ自分たちは殺してないってことを証明してみせろよ僕もお母さんの推理は少し勇み足だと思うな Okay, okay, nice. George is not siding with her. レシートの件は確かに重要なヒントだと思うでもそれはバトラ君の言う通り夏日おばさんが何がしかの犯人であることを断定できるものじゃない僕たちは等しく全員が容疑者なんだ夏日おばさんだけが責められる道理はない
誇り高きお父様が床に這いつくばってベッドの下に The thing is, if Kinzo wants to make it seem like he's missing or whatever, he could do that, right? Yeah, we don't know what Kinzo's, uh, if he had a plan or whatever, right? We don't know that. Or maybe he just got, he's missing, just like what happened with the six people, right? And then maybe later we'll find him also dead, right? It, it might happen like that. We don't know right now. So, what do you think about that? それならエヴァおばさんが先に説明しろよ毒人を誰がどうやって殺してそして自分が関わっていないという証拠を示してみろってんだ、oh. What is happening with her? Was she has asthma or something? <laughs> Jessica started, suddenly started coughing. At first, I thought she was just choking after yelling too loud. Yeah, I mean, yes, sometimes you do that, right? But before long, I realized how painful it looked. Jessica kept coughing and choking down on her hands and knees. Jessica, Oh, yeah, she got asthma. Dr. Nanju pulled a bronco dilator inhaler from his own bag, which was lying on the sofa, and handed it to Jessica. Come to think of it, six years ago, didn't Jessica sometimes break into violent coughing fits and have to use that? However, six years ago, I never saw Jessica look like she was in this much pain. Oh, <laughs> Have they mentioned this in the beginning? That Jessica had asthma? Or was it just shown now? Okay. Born with weak bronchi and sometimes assailed by sudden asthma attacks. Was this here? I don't remember. Yeah, this is the last uh, part here. Last sentence there. Okay. <laughs> Taking the inhaler from Cotton Coon, Jessica used it with a practice hand. It looked like her throat would still itch for a while, but she had it under control. Jessica. <laughs> Beads of sweat covered Jessica's whole body and she couldn't hide her rough breathing, but it looked like her sudden attack had calmed down for now. The disturbance had made the dangerous atmosphere up until now slightly unfocused. But that's fine. That kind of battle of mutual suspicion is completely unnecessary. When you think about it, finding alibis for each other and looking for the corporate is probably meaningless. After all, we're just powerless, ordinary people. And when the police come tomorrow, they'll definitely employ cutting edge techniques and investigate the case thoroughly. Solving all the riddles and arresting the culprit. <sighs> Now she's saying this after she's been just suspicious by everyone or on everyone, right? The servant, Natsuhi, she's not even looking at herself, right? And Hideyoshi, both of them? Okay, now she's stopping because she, uh... <laughs> Everyone noticed that, oh yeah, you're suspicious as well. Where were you? Or how can you say that you did not kill those six people, right? She doesn't want to talk about it now. 
Now it's okay to leave it to the police. Okay. But earlier she was literally pressuring Natsuhi there. I mean, ev I mean, everyone wants to know who the culprit is. Yes, isn't it? This is normal. Sakiwa But yeah, good for George though. I thought he was gonna side, not side, but he would uh, try to defend his mom, right? But he was he was neutral there. エヴァ but I think that maybe there's a secret door inside the room, right? Oh, come on now. There's probably something, a secret door there that leads to somewhere, right? Yeah, there's probably something there that we, hopefully they reveal. Because yeah, if he fell out of the window, there's probably going to be like marking there or whatever, right? I mean, if you fall out of a, what is it? Three, said, she said three story building, right? Yeah, there might be blood there. If you drop, right? If you hit something. Yes, right? But yeah, uh, there was nothing there. There was, I guess they, they didn't find anything, I suppose, right? In the courtyard that, what do you call this? Any clues or such. I don't know. But yeah. My theory is, or my guess is, there is a secret room inside that room that Kinzo can go through, right? And sometimes, sometimes when we see Kanon, right? Yeah, Kanon is listening to the, yeah, to the conversations of the other family members. And it looks like, yeah, he's not even in the, in the room, but he could hear them, right? Maybe he's inside the walls, right? Who knows? Maybe they yeah, are. There's some uh, path there that you can go and you can check, right? So then. And then you can he easily hear what they're talking about. So. レシートの一件で、ついお鬼の首を取ったような気持ちになっちゃったのね。確かに夏日姉さんだけを疑うのはフェアじゃないわ。私たちだって等しく疑わしい。でもね、バトラ君。レシートの話だけは本当よ。これ忘れないでね。そしてこれがどういう意味を持つか、もう一度よく考えてみてね。What uh, is this? Aunt Eva and Uncle Hideyoshi stood up. Why is her name there? <laughs> I think that's just an error, right? It looked like they planned on leaving the parlor. In the end, it's pointless for us to keep playing detectives. That's right. Uh, if you, even if you don't play detect this detective game, the typhoon will pass. And when those lively seagulls return to the harbor, everything will settle itself. That's right. 
if you think about it this kind of crime is completely trivial it will definitely be resolved even if you do nothing when the seagulls cry Dude, who wants to see your face after being accused by you and then you shouting at her, right? ま、私も同じよ。確かお好きになさるといいでしょう。自分が監視をされていることを忘れなく。捨てゼリフはそれで十分ですか。ええ、十分よ。じゃあね、夏日姉さん。She's so good to her now. <laughs> it's like it's so annoying, right? Like earlier they were really really shouting at each other, and now she's like goody good with her. Genji-san. 夕食になったら呼んでね。それまでチェーンをかけて閉じこもってるわ。Until then we lock ourselves in with the chain. What kind of chain? Those who remain shall tear apart the two who are close. Genji,カノ。お二人を客室まで送りを。Right, they ain't gonna come back anymore. For sure, 100%. I'm gonna stake my life on that. It's done. Yeah, these two? They're gonna lock themselves in the room? They're not gonna get out of that room. 100%. Thank <laughs> ジョージ、行くわよ。僕はここでみんなといるよ。ジョージ。この部屋に犯人がいるのよ。そんなところにいるつもり。この部屋を出るということは親族の誰かを疑うのと同じことだよ。僕はあんな恐ろしいことができる
But yeah, I think these two will be done. These two are done, I think. The parlor was being buried beneath the savage atmosphere. If they're leaving and then both of them are alone. Yeah. When I looked at the clock, I was surprised to find that it was already evening. I had we really spent that much time worrying about needless things. Talking with each other, fighting with each other. Feeling bored, I started scratching on my head when... Maria and I made eye contact. I was a little surprised since I thought she was completely immersed in the TV. ほう。手紙も殺人も全て。ベアトリーチェの仕業だ。いや。むしろ頼むからそうだと名乗り出てほしいぜ。19人目の仕業ってことにさせてくれ。じゃなきゃ。俺たち18人はいつまでも互いを
like earlier in the beginning she was she was not yeah she was kind of uh how do what what is the word for it like she was down not down but she does not uh what, what is the word i forgot the word but now she's actually like talking back is what i'm saying right she doesn't just accept what ava is uh dishing to her like all this stuff yes that this that she's not taking it anymore she's actually answering her and then she said i am nazi oshiromiya even though i don't have that one uh winged eagle on her dress it's engraved in her heart right so that's that was pretty cool and yeah they, they actually like faced off as well right with her with her gun and then ava cocky as ever with her fan was it a fan yeah but something like that she's holding that was pretty cool i like the animated uh animated uh what do you call this animated art i guess the art uh, the art itself i mean i like it like that we have a lot of it in this game so that's cool and then mari again spouting that witch stuff right being creepy and all so let's see well, let's see what happens next episode i feel uh, we may get our next uh casualty if i mean if we reach i guess a twilight in the next episode right but yeah but i think uh, the next casualty if it happens is ava and your boy uncle hideyoshi right so anyways we are going to continue this and do more of omineko when they cry in the next one so i'll just see you then guys bye bye